Today's video is going to be all about what? All about lace wigs and hair wigs and everything you need to know, whether it's good and bad. You got advantages and disadvantages. And I am going to go over which type I actually do prefer. And I will go over each and every single type of lace wig there is that I know. Um, and just pretty much explain to you how they look. Um, the quality of them and what will actually fit best for you. So hopefully this video does help you on picking and choosing what kind of wig you like. I know there are a lot of new people who are getting into the different wigs and this video is pretty much just going to help you give you an explanation of what type of wig you are going for. There are several different types of wigs. So we do have full lace. We do have 360, there are closures, there are frontals, and we also have a T-part lace. So there are several different types of lace that's already available for people. And most people, when they get their hair done, they don't actually know what type of lace they want to get. As a hairstylist myself, a lot of people ask me, well, can you work with this? What about this? What about that? So this video is going to just give you an explanation of every single type of wig there is. Um, it's really going to pretty much help you on picking and choosing on which style you're trying to achieve, what look you're trying to achieve, and just give you a breakdown of the different types of wigs there are. So along with the different types of wigs there are, there are different types of lace. So we do have transparent, we have brown, we have HD. Um, and basically that's pretty much it. And it's basically known as Swiss lace. So... I am going to start off with the different lace. So lace is very important. It's very important with the type of look you're trying to achieve. Now, it doesn't mean you can't pull off a look with that certain kind of lace. So the typical lace that everybody pretty much gets is transparent. Transparent is that kind of go-to lace. And it does work for mostly everyone. Um, I'm not going to say it does work for everyone. Some people cannot um, get it right to blend and melt with their skin complexion. But um, you can make transparent lace work. There are many types of lace tint, makeup, and any kind of color perfecter that can actually make your lace blend very well. You just got to have the time and the effort to actually get it to work. Um, but HD will completely melt to your skin. HD is on the higher end um, because it is pretty much the best type of lace you can possibly get. HD will melt completely. You will not see it at all. It is a very thin kind of Swiss lace. And it is so thin where you do have to be careful or it will rip. Transparent is kind of pretty much underneath. Transparent is a thin Swiss lace. But with transparent and certain, uh, with certain complexions, you could possibly see it. It will kind of give you that ashy kind of look if you're not careful. Now, there's also a light brown lace. Light brown lace um, can pretty much blend with each complexion as well. Um, light brown lace is also a Swiss lace, but it does have a light brown kind of tint to it. Sort of like a tan but not too tan kind of color. There's also a brown lace, which we all know that is pretty much really dark, but not too dark. Um, if you do have a kind of, you do have a browner skin complexion, it will blend. Um, I actually wore brown lace before. As long as you got baby hairs, you can really pretty much make anything work. So, um, because I know with COVID going on, there was a lot of brown lace and I, I have brown lace myself. So you can really make anything work if you put in that time, that effort, and you know all the different kind of tips and tricks and kind of strings you can pull together to make it work. I did go over the different kind of lace. Let's jump right into the different lace wigs. I am going to start off with the full lace wig. So full lace wigs is pretty much for like braided hairstyles, hairstyles that um, include a uh, different parting spaces, that natural look because full lace wig is pretty much scalped throughout your head. Full lace wig does have lace at the top, the bottom, and on the side. Sometimes it does have, um, sometimes it does have just a cap in the middle 
um but some of the times it doesn't sometimes it can be actual lace throughout i never personally had a full lace wig before they are typically on the higher side they do cost a little bit more but if you want to achieve that very natural look full, full lace wigs is the best kind of a lace wig you could possibly get honestly uh, with full lace wigs a lot of people are having it in braids um if you want to have the braided hairstyles cornrows all the way to the back if you want to have like the different knotless braids people want to do with the full lace wigs if you just want like the natural short curly and you just want to toss it here and there and just part it you want to do two ponytails um full lace wigs is really good for that so full lace wigs is the kind of wig you will need if you want to achieve different kind of hairstyles and part it in different kind of ways but like i did say it is on the higher range it does cost a little bit more because there's more lace the very next wig i am going to go over is the 360 lace wig so 360 lace wig does have lace at the top and the bottom only so it does basically seem like it does have two frontals it has a frontal on the top and a frontal on the back typically people want to actually pull it up maybe in a high ponytail a high bun um to achieve that kind of skin like look at the bottom of their hair um a lot of people do wear 360 lace wigs there are 360 frontals as well everyone who orders like a 360 they want to have they want to be able to put their hair up without um having to have hair hanging down so they do actually come with baby hairs on the 360 lace wigs they do have the lace at the bottom where you can bleach the knots and pluck it however you feel like i actually had a 360 lace wig before and it does achieve that look if you want to go for a natural look in the back of your head not just the front 360 lace wigs does work pretty much and 360 lace wigs aren't as expensive as people think um i actually feel like they are the same and about the average price of a regular lace wig but most people do not know how to install a 360 lace wig you will need someone else to put it on you unless you've just been doing hair forever and will be able to see the back of your head you do have to have your hair molded down completely everything has to be braided down and all your hair is protected underneath for a 360 lace wig the next wig there is a frontal wig so like the wig i do have on and i will explain this wig a little later because it is laid so i do have a frontal lace wig on um frontal lace wigs is basically what everybody orders frontal lace wigs they come in 13 by 4 as well as a 13 by 6 frontal lace wigs i absolutely love frontal wigs um because you can achieve the hairline you want and you may have a whole head of hair that is okay but it's a really good protective hairstyle if you don't want none of your hair out i don't usually put my hair up i basically always have my hair down so i'm not really concerned about the back of my head i don't really need it up but if i do want to achieve a, a look that has hair to be up i can always just sew down the back of my head there's a comb at the bottom where it does hook to the back of your head as well. So you can still put your hair up if you choose to. But with frontal wigs, as you can see, you can achieve the hairline that you want with the wig. It does give you that skin-like effect. Um, it does have parting space. Um, and you can do a side part, middle part. You can put braids in the front, twists in the front. Um, you can do basically whatever you want but as far as everything from the middle all the way to the back there's no lace back there so the lace is only at the front of your hair but if you can still achieve that half up half down you can achieve um a braided front you could achieve twists in the front now the next type of wig are closure wigs now if you are a beginner i would suggest a closure wig at first closure wigs will definitely give you a feel of exactly how wigs are supposed to be so closure wigs typically can come in four by four five by five six by six and they do have seven by seven but if you're first starting off 
close your wigs um you will probably just need that four by four so close your wigs are cheaper than most of the wigs because it doesn't have too much lace on the wig it's just in the middle and if you want to turn it to the side you can it does give you enough space where if you want a middle a side um, if you want to braid the middle, you can. It's not too many styles you can do with a closure wigs. But if you're just wanting to just have a different kind of look, a different kind of style or something just to put on just to protect your hair, closure wigs are the ideal wig. They are very beginner friendly. You can pretty much do however you want. You can pluck it. You can bleach it. Now, you don't necessarily have to do the dramatic baby hairs and all of that on closure wigs. Closure wigs, you can just, honestly, you can just take it right out of the packaging and just part it and wear it. You don't really have to do too much to close your wigs. All closure wigs are pretty much beginner friendly. Um, but frontal wigs are really where you want to customize your look. Um, closure wigs are less maintenance. You don't need too much to be. You don't need a lot of work to be doing with closure wigs. But you won't be able to have all the space on the side where you want to have that different kind of look but you'll be able to protect your hair underneath a lot of people if they're trying to grow their edges back um closure waves are really good for that because you can still work on your hairline as well as you wear that protective style and closure waves are a little bit cheaper than the rest and they do make them in bobs they do have it long they do have it in different colors you can still achieve curls and crimps and all of those kind of looks with closure wigs, but they do have just a smaller parting space. Big in front of me, this is a body weight wig. And this is also a frontal wig. It does have a transparent lace. As you can see with transparent lace, like I did explain earlier, it does have more of that ashier look, but it will still blend with your complexion if you have some kind of tint on it or anything such as that. This is the inside of a frontal wig. It does give you that parting space like you need to. This one does have a deep parting space. And this is the front of it. So you do have to customize it if you want to. It does have the knots and you can just pluck it however you want. But this wig is extremely full as you can see and it does have the lace and you can pretty much do however you want to do with frontal wigs this is the bottom of frontal wigs so it does have this little piece of lace but you can't really do too much with it so typically people just leave their hair down and just and just worry about the front of their hair so again this is a frontal lace wig it does have the hairline which you can customize yourself it does have enough parting space in the inside where you can do a middle, a side, and everything else. And this is the frontal wig. This is just like the one I do have on. And you just customize your hairline however you want. And this is a body wave unit. The one I do have in is body wave as well. And I did just crimp it because I've been having it straight. And the wig I do have on now is from Love Me Hair. This is the body weight wig. And the lace is absolutely gorgeous on this wig. I did customize my own baby hairs. And I did want that kind of natural, dramatic look. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, that is why I love frontals. Because you can get that kind of hairline if you want something too dramatic. Um, and you can part it however you want to do it. And if I want a middle part today and a side part tomorrow and some braids in the front the next day, I can do that with this look. Now, this wig I have right here is a closure wig. This is the space on the closure wig. As you can see, this wig does have the combs on the side and it does just have the closure in the middle. It does just have that enough space in the middle so you can't really have like the hairline like I have on my head now. It just gives you enough room where you can just part it anywhere just within this space and that's it. But like I did state, it is good if you want to manage your hair underneath. If you're 
um, just did a big chop and want to work on your hair, close your waist are best to do that for transition. And that is basically it with all the different kind of wigs. And I didn't really go over T-part. So T-part wigs does just have the hairline and a line. And it is in the shape of a T. It, that's basically how you separate a T-part lace. T-part waist are the cheapest of the lace because it barely has any lace on there. T-part lace wigs does have... Um, just a middle and I do see that a lot of people have been having the part on like the side part on T part lace But it just has enough in the middle So if you pretty much just want one hairstyle T part lace will be best for that I did go over all the different lace all the advantages and disadvantages with all the lace if you do like my hair I will leave all of that down below as well again. This is love me hair. It is the body wave it is absolutely gorgeous and did y'all not see this lace so questions or any comments about the different lace or you need any help with picking out the lace please leave that down below and I try to help you with different kind of lace that is probably works best for you and i do hope this video does help each and every one of you on picking and choosing what kind of lace is best for you if you have a hairstyle in mind and still don't know what kind of lace is best for you please um leave it down below and i can try to help you